Working with something called tribromomethane in the laboratory is a formula that's written out as CHBr3. That's three bromine atoms, one hydrogen atom, and one carbon atom. It's a molecule that appears to look like this. Now, this uh, molecule, which is also known as bromoform, is very similar in appearance to chloroform. The only difference is chloroform, instead of having the bromine atoms here, it has chlorine atoms here. Okay? But we're not, we're not going to create chloroform, we're going to create bromoform. So bromoform is a brominated organic solvent, colorless liquid at room temperature, with a high refractive index. Very high density, meaning that it's a heavy liquid and it sinks to the bottom. Uh, it also has a sweet odor, which is similar to that of chloroform. It is a trihalomethane and, and is one of the four haloforms. The others are, as I mentioned before, chloroform, fluoroform, and idoform. Now, bromoform can be prepared using the haloform reaction. Now, in this case, this is our setup here. This is, what we're, this is what we're going to do in the laboratory uh, using the haloform reaction. So I'm going to begin by using acetone and sodium hyperbromite, or bleach, along with an aqueous solution of sodium bromide. Now, in the past, bromoform was used as a solvent and a sedative. Bromoform can be absorbed into the body through breathing it in or through skin by touching it. And it also readily evaporates into the air. So the following process is going to be I'm going to take seven grams of sodium bromide, mix that with some water. Once those are mixed, I have something called an aqueous solution of sodium bromide. Then from there, I'm going to add four milliliters of acetone, okay? Then from there, I'm going to add directly 150 milliliters of bleach to that solution. And by doing that, you're going to, in essence, create bromoform. So let's head to the laboratory and let me show you how to create this molecule right here. I'm going to add 100 milliliters of water to this flask. So to create an aqueous solution of sodium bromide, I'm going to take our sodium bromide here and add it to the water. And we need seven grams of this. I'm now going to stir the solution around. This will help to dissolve the sodium bromide into the water. I'm now going to add the acetone to the solution of sodium bromide. Going to mix the solution around. I'm now going to prepare a beaker filled with about 150 milliliters of bleach. Now from here, I'm going to take our special reagent, remove it first from the clamp, I'm going to add it to the speaker. To our solution. You want to slowly stir the solution around. and keep adding until the solution turns milky in, in, in appearance.
Now from here, I'm going to take the solution and I'm going to pour it into the separatory funnel. Give it a good shake, mix it around, and continue to pour. I can smell a very sweet odor. I'm going to take the separatory funnel. I'm going to make sure the lid is secure. I'm going to just shake this around so it helps to evenly distribute our bromoform, the solvent. Now two layers are going to form here. And the bottom layer is the bromoform. And to keep in mind, the bromoform is very dense. So it's going to sink to the bottom of the solution. I'm going to let this stand for about an hour or so. All right, so an hour has passed, and this has been standing. Let me show you what I have here. There are two layers. As you can see, the top layer we don't want. But the bottom layer, a very small yield, this is our bromoform. Now from here, I'm going to collect our bromoform and put it in this test tube. Now keep in mind, bromoform is very dense, so it has sunk to the bottom. I'm going to collect it. Okay, that's it. I'm now going to cap it off with a rubber stopper and place it on this clamp over here. I'm going to remove the test tube from the clamp and look very closely. What do you see? This bottom layer down here. What is that? That is our bromoform. I have demonstrated how to create bromoform in the laboratory. And as always, thanks for watching.